that is. Hmm. That whatever I'm supposed to roll, that's what I don't roll. <laughs> I get it. Hey, everybody. Good evening. It's snowing here a little bit in the Middle West, and it's also really, really cold. But there ain't no blizzard, okay? We talked about it last night, and I, did, I said there ain't gonna be no blizzard, and guess what? There ain't one. There is, however, me and a Velker. Hi, Velker. Hello. I am. I. I have. We have dragooned the Velker to join us tonight because my hope had been, to be quite honest, to start our really, really big Eggmul game for um, Valor and Fortitude, which, by the way, is picking up steam all over the place. People are reviewing it and enjoying it, and folks are getting in some Christmas games. So that's awesome. And I'd hope to do our really, really big. Hey, Red. Good evening. Hope your water heater's better. I uh, hope to get in that, but we just didn't have enough people. A lot of folks had places to go, and I get it, with the holiday coming up. And we couldn't have Thursday Night Throwdown, which usually involves CT fighting with Achilles, because CT is on vacation, and we hope he's safe and having a wonderful time with his family. So instead, I said, we're not going to do our Eggmo battle. We're not going to do um, our usual Thursday Night Throwdown. So I said, why not do Little Wars TV's Raven Feast? There, and usually I wouldn't play this game. I wouldn't. It's a skirmish game. And I there's a couple I really, really like, but it's just not my way of playing things. But they went back and they redid the rules to allow big battles. And not just that, they built a 1066 campaign. And I will tell you that this is one of my favorite battles in all history. I was obs I went to see the Bayou Tapestry. I was so obsessed about it. I cruised all over battle. I've seen all those things. I love it to pieces. And... I figure why not give it a shot because I also love the way that Little Wars guys... Now, this is not a Greg Wegman set. Now, he's published it and all that. But this was by a gentleman who was in their group who has passed away and left us these rules, which are available for free on the web. Go get them. No excuses. And so tonight I figured we would bring together the group and the folks that have joined us, as I said, are Velker, Achilles, and Robert. Good evening to everybody. Evening. evening. All right. Let's hit the rules because... They are not long. Uh, we're going to have three players tonight. Now, we're going to be playing big battle. Usually, it's individual bases. This time, it's just one base with multiples. We did this, actually, with men who would be kings. Usually, you see, we got right here. This would be an individual Viking. But instead, it's now a base of six Vikings. So, it represents a certain number of guys. And we'll get into that in just a second. Uh, Looks we're gonna like five to me. What's that? Looks like five to me. Is it five? No. Yeah. Oh, that one's five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that one, oh, that was so frustrating. Every Most of the guys are six. This one was frustrating just because I could not get the collision box to knock it off. But if you look at most of the others, they're sixes. Math uh, is hard. <laughs> no, that's just, that isn't even math. That's counting. Anyway, the way we're going to, the way the turn flows, it's going to start with initiative, rally, movement, missile fire, melee, and end of turn. You're going to start up by rolling a d6. You're going to subtract the current number of leaders and heroes in your force. Whoever rolls lowest gets to pick who goes first on their side. And then play goes clockwise around the table. So it'll depend how we break up exactly how we rotate around the table. A Viking who... Uh, then we rally. A Viking who previously failed a morale roll and is marked with a coward token must try to rally. He will roll a d6 if the score is equal to their morale or less. I know Achilles is liking this already because it means lower is better. The test passes. If passed, the Viking may immediately act as normal. If failed, the Viking is removed and counted as killed. Movement. Starting with a player who won initiative, each player moves all their Vikings. You may move up to your move rating in inches. Everything is doubled because this is intended to be played with smaller figs. I'm playing it on it with 25 millimeter figs. So everything is doubled. That's already reflected in the tooltips. You may not end overlapping. You may interpenetrate. You may not move between enemy figures unless there is a base width between them. If you move into contact with an enemy... You are locked in combat, and both sides will then forfeit any remaining movement for that turn. Rough terrain basically makes movement two for one. What do we have for rough terrain? Why well, we have a river, and a really big river, and we have some swamp, 
And we have some trees. I think that's it. I would say that's it. Yes. Facing. You may attack any target forward, interestingly enough, of your rear base edge. So instead of coming off your front, it comes off the rear of your base. Just everything in front of you. Right. Missile fire. All shooting is simultaneous and may be resolved in any order. Bows and javelins have their respective ranges. If you move more than half you or is it, are engaged, you may not shoot. You may not shoot into a melee if friendly Vikings are also engaged. In this case, soldiers. You may not target a leader or hero unless they are closest. If you are more than four inches into woods or inside a building, you cannot be targeted. To hit with a ranged weapon, you must roll d6 equal to or lower than your missile rating. If a hit is scored, each piece of cover between the shooter and the target, walls, fences, etc. We really don't have anything on this board has a chance to block on a roll of four plus. If the shooter successfully rolls to hits and it hits and avoids all cover, the enemy must see if their armor protects them. The enemy rolls a D6. If they roll their armor rating or lower, the hit is ignored. If this roll is higher than armor, they suffer a wound. And w wounding is handled very interestingly, actually, in this game. All melees are then simultaneous and may be resolved in any order the player chooses. A, a base is in melee if it is in base to base contact. If you are engaged, um, if when you are engaged, you turn to face and may not move for the remainder of the turn. If you have multiple attackers, you decide which one to face. You may attempt to disengage from melee up to half your movement directly away, but the enemy gets a free attack and you get no armor save. You may not attempt to disengage if you have somebody to the front and rear. There are very few melee modifiers. It's minus one attacking uphill or an obstacle. Minus one to armor if attacked from the rear. And minus one when engaged from more than one enemy. In melee, you must use at least one attack against an enemy directly in front of you. But any additional attacks may be used against any other viable target. You roll a d6 for each attack. Any roll equal to or lower than your melee rating inflicts a hit. If you successfully roll to hit, they then check armor. And if they fail, they get a blood token. Uh, a, a flavor rule, a death worthy of a song. In melee, <laughs> if you hit with a roll of one and the enemy rolls a six, the attacker rolls a second free attack against the same target. If successful on a second hit, the enemy is wounded with a gruesome, spectacular blow. Mark them with a raven token or something else unique. Enemy, enemy figures within 12 inches will take a morale test at the end of the turn phase because the attack was so grisly, gruesome, and horrible. <laughs> there are circumstances that will give you a free attack. Uh, which is no armor. We've already talked about that. The big one being uh, death worthy of a song and an enemy trying to withdraw from combat. You may form shield wall. If you are armed with shields and you are not currently engaged in melee, you may form a shield wall. There are special ways of doing that in the big battle rules that we'll go through. You may only move at half your move, straight ahead, or one quarter move back. No turning, no wheeling, and never over an obstacle. You may turn 180 degrees around, but that is your entire movement. You will receive a plus two to your armor rating to a maximum of five if you are in shield wall. You may have more than one rank, which is an attempt to preserve the formation. They can, they can come up and through. It is broken if there are fewer than three bases. 
and you may voluntarily dissolve it. Bases are assumed to only have one wound unless they are labeled tough. Abilities are described in the next section. During the game, if any time you suffer a wound, we mark them with a blood token. They may still complete all phases. This is the part I like. They may still complete all phases of the turn, but at the end of turn, which is the last phase, they get taken off. They're just removed from the game as dead. Unless they have tough and can sustain multiple wounds. Morale tests are required if a leader is killed, if your warband suffers over 50% wounded, if a hero was killed this turn, or if there is a death worthy of a song. To pass a morale test, you must roll a d6 and score equal to or lower than your morale rating. Any part of a shield wall may add plus one to its morale rating. A six always fails. Leaders and heroes have the ability to inspire nearby troops in their warband. And friendly troops within the, mora within the morale rating of a leader or hero in inches, you measure their, leader, their morale rating in inches, may use that morale rating to make morale tests. If you fail, you are marked a coward and immediately turn directly away from the nearest enemy, fleeing your full move away. All enemies in base-to-base -base with fleeing Vikings receive an immediate free attack. If they flee off the table, they are removed. That, for what it's worth, are all the rules. We do have a few special ones for big battle. Number one, is command and control. Command distance is checked at the start of your movement phase. All friendly units within their morale rating distance in inches are in command and may move freely. If they are outside, they move at half. And yes, it is going to double. So let's take a look here at our boy... Earl Morcar of Northumbria. You'll see his morale is 5. Obviously, that would be 10. So you're going to have to figure out his deployment within those radii. <coughs> Shield wall is more difficult with a, uh, with, with a big battle system. Three <coughs> infantry units must begin their movement already aligned and must be in command. So you have to start the turn there. Units in a second rear rank of a shield wall do not contribute to combat, but are allowed to automatically move forward if a friendly unit flees or is eliminated. Bow-armed units may use plunging fire to shoot over the heads of friendly troops as long as intervening friendly units are not within 12 inches of the target. They only hit on a 1. During the morale phase, to end each turn, each side tests morale for every turn their army is over 50% casualties. Leaders and heroes must pass their tests first before lending the morale rating to friendly units within command distance. They are not cumulative within a turn. A unit must only ever check morale once, even if multiple triggers occur. This is a campaign system. We will be keeping track of all the big people, the big men, who die. Uh, that is anybody who has a toughness. Anybody who has a toughness will perhaps cause a, a, a problem later in the battle. So we're going to have to keep a track of all those guys. This is the first of three battles in the 1066 sequence. It is called the uh, Battle of Fulford Gate. Do, 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 do. Details about the battle are limited. We aren't even precisely sure where it occurred, but it appears the Saxon earls, the brothers Morcar and Edwin, selected defensible, marshy ground about two miles south of York. This scenario assumes a Saxon force of just over 5,000 men against a larger Viking army of 7,000. Harold's main column arrives on the road from off table. These units may arrive in any order Harold chooses, but his Huskarls must bring up the rear and be the last reinforcements to arrive. Objectives. 
The Saxons are outmatched, but defending good terrain. They need to hold off the Viking attack as long as possible. The Saxons automatically win the battle if they reach the scenario turn limit without breaking, or if Harold Hardrarda is killed. The Saxons break at 12 units. The Vikings break at 16. The game lasts 12 turns. The stream, marshes, and village are rough ground. The river, the big river, is impassable. The Saxons will deploy first, north of the tidal Germany Beck stream. The Vikings deploy second. They deploy Tostig's wing, sec wing second. Herdrada's column arrives beginning on turn two. Where does Tostig begin to employ, deploy? Da. <laughs> and you can see where Harold begins to arrive, remembering his Huskarls must come up the rear. Who yes, wants, Who wants to be the Saxons? <clears throat> Not I, said the descendant of Vikings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be the Saxons. All right. All right. So do you want to you want to you want to split up Edward and Morcar, Robert, or do you want to be Tostig? I'll be tastic. All right, so you and Achilles. So you set up. So uh, Velker, you set up first. You see where? Remember that you have in Edward Morcar of Northumbria a morale radius of t ten, and the same in Edwin of Mercia. And is this the closest guy? Uh, no, it's each base. Okay. Each base counts. So you're gonna have to do some Dublins. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Haz, Turk, and Mr. Primrose. Good to see you. I see who has missiles. These boys, certainly. That's, I think those are the only guys with Yeah, that might be your only guys that do. <clears throat> your Hearthguard are good troops. Your fear doesn't. Yeah, just the archers. Yeah, just the archers. And remember, they can use plunging fire. You also do get a benefit if they're attacking uphill. Is this down? No. You're on the plane right now. You're you're on the plane between two ridges. You see the ridge right behind you here? But the, the stream also gives them a benefit. The stream benefit also does give you a... Yes, if you're defending the stream, that's also a benefit. That's a good point. Hey, guys. Hey, OJ. Oh, Mike. And I don't have any incentive to attack, right? None. You're surviving. All right, good. I love surviving. <laughs> You want to split up, Velker, you want to split up the uh, Sax with the uh, Saxons with OJ? I'd be fine with that. Yeah, OJ, why don't you grab half of it? All right, give me a minute and I'll be in. All right. I wasn't sure if you had seats. Sorry, my wife's uh, place that she works, they had a small get-together tonight and went just a little bit longer than I thought. Oh, that's nice. I was going to. Yeah. I'll let Mike set that up a little bit. And you can pretty much see what's going on, so if you want to set up Tostig... <laughs> Oh. Shouldn't be too, shouldn't be too difficult. <laughs> I don't know. It's it kind of depends where you want to put him. I was wondering about that. I, I, I don't know. I'm just excited to get to play with Velker again for a change. Aw, thanks, OJ. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it'll take a minute for everything to download for me. So. All right. Just as, just as long as you're not doing the uh, the update like I was doing last night. Mm -hmm. Nope. 
Actually, to be more technical, my ancestors were Normans, so they were with William. I was going to say that's that's a, that's a different group of guys. Yeah, but they were still originally Vikings. <laughs> Rolo and the rest. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and then they went with that other crazy Norman Strongbow. They went went with him to Ireland. Everybody makes my ancestors in our region. <laughs> How they how they ended up in Galway. <laughs> Bill Graham over here with you, I take it. Yep, you're defending up there. All right. Booker's got everything laid out, it looks like. Well, you can set them up however you like. I mean it's the uh, big thing you should know is that there is a uh, there is a command radius. It's ten inches from either Earl Morcar or I don't know who's taking who. It's it's Edwin and Morcar. All right, Elker, who do you want me to take? Yeah, you want to split it down right here. Yeah, which yeah, which side? I'll take this side. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Why, why do I like Lazy Boy? Because <laughs> that's what he does for a coward token. Shit. <gasps> Looks like that this is a ridge line up here. It is. Yep. You'll see it more clearly with the map. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Like, Cute. Isn't that the ghost from this Pac-Man or something? <laughs> Might be. Might be. Here we go. Here's your map for you. So where's the swampy area? In the middle? This Where the water is. is. Oh. <laughs> well, there's water all over the place. Yeah. And obviously well, the river itself, but... Stay out of the water. I do love that coward. I seriously love that coward marker. <laughs> you see that Achilles? I think back to Shogun. In, in, you know, they, they were afraid of taking baths. <laughs> they thought they were going to die from taking a bath. <laughs> Why am I? Why is this being weird? And, and ever since, and the Japanese have rightly thought you Europeans were weird. <laughs> and they were right. Yes. <laughs> For a change, yeah, I'm I'm not sure, but I'm sure that there's a Viking in the woodshed somewhere. In my <laughs> line. yeah, given given my lineage to it's well, and Velkers for that matter, it's uh, highly likely. Let's put it that way. It's also hard to explain without it. It's hard to explain where I wind up with something like two percent finish. <laughs> one of these uh, days, I'm going to take one of those tests just to. Oh, just is there? To- they are they are fascinating. They are fascinating. All right, so 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 Tostig is up and in. This is turn one. Um, I just want to get out a die marker here too for turn. Oop, there we go. Um, all right, so it's turn one. We begin each turn with initiative. There's only one of the Viking commanders on the field right now. There are two, so it's minus two, which is good. Uh, minus two for the Saxons, minus one for the Vikings. Roll it. Three. Hit a Velker. Two. Velker, you want him to go first, or you want to go first? I think we let him come to us, right? Yes, I think so. All right, Tostic, you're up. We're going to attack, man. Yeah, I figured so. (laughs) What a surprise. <laughs> Robert has a group of Vikings and he's going to attack? I'm shocked. <laughs> I can't believe this. After all, you are the invaders. That's true. We like it that way. We hey, come can you from put the this... land of the ice and snow. Move your hand. <laughs> hey, can you put them in, in attack columns? <laughs> <laughs> and we do check for... We do check for distances. Yeah, obviously everybody is in range. Can they go into square? (laughs) And because they move more than half, nobody can shoot, but that's okay because that's not what we're doing anyway. We do have the handy-dandy PDF version right here. 
no Vikings failed any morale rows last time. Uh, move both both players move, and then obviously both players shoot and melee. So there it is. All right, Not even. yeah, I don't think. Well, you might be in range of bows, but I don't no. know. I'm definitely within no. range. I, I'm in range of him. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I turn it then over to the movement. Only the movement now of the uh, the Saxons. Anything? I don't think so. I think we're still. Frost says that this is already different than the Little Wars game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they came down and fought at that river. But there it is. Um, all right, so nothing there. We go to mi missile fire. I don't think his guys are in range. Your guys in range, Valka? They are. Uh, yes, they are. Range is pretty far. Oh, well, he moved, though. Yeah, he moved, so he can't shoot. Yeah, so, but my archers can. Yep. Mm-hmm. We're just checking the range on your Mercian archers is, geez, yeah, 36 inches. Uh, missile fire of two. So yeah, they just... got they got bows. I got javelins, so. Yeah. <laughs> so it's over here. All right. So let's start with the firing, I guess. Who's get, Velker, it's your guys. Yep. Who you want to shoot at? I'll just go along the line. I just want to just go down the line that way? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so you need it's 1d6. You got to roll a two or less? I think so. Yep. Mm. Nope. Two or less? Nope. Two or less? Nothing. All right. 34 and 6. <laughs> Pew, pew, Here's pew. the problem. Can Velker roll low? <laughs> <laughs> he is not known for it. Let it be stipulated. <laughs> he is not. All right. Is, is, uh, and there's obviously no melee, so is that it? We on to turn two? I think so. Yeah, this game is not going to overstay its oh, welcome. <laughs> uh, okay, now it's turn two. We still have uh, it's uh, minus two, minus one for initiative. I thought he comes on this turn. He does, but he's not on yet. I'm not here yet. So let's say a three and a three, three and a three. I think we got to roll that again. Two. The two, two and a two. How about we do that again? Jeez, guys, come on, work with me. <laughs> they should have had. They should have had a rule for that. Oh, zero. Oh, and, and a and a zero. <laughs> Is zero. So, Robert, would you want you want them to go first, or you want to go first? Yeah, Velker, move. I don't want to move. He don't wanna. He <laughs> ain't gonna take that. You can't make me. He's right about that. So I guess that's <sighs> I guess that's you to move, Tostig. And at this point, uh, Hardrider's column arrives. Turn two, starting turn two. Up it comes. Um, they may arrive in any order you choose on that road, but your Who's Carls must bring up the rear and be the last reinforcements to arrive. Did you write that down, Achilles? I don't think I need to. That that one's pretty self-explanatory. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so we come down this road. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That's funny, Jeff. That's exactly what Mike said. What's no, that, I was quoting what Jeff said. Oh, is that I'm it? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. What's, you missed that part. It's, no it's two to one. So, okay. so the bottom line is, as you cross it, you gotta you stop there, and you uh, you figure out, you know, it basically doubles it for you. Stop. Okay, so I have an inch left. What's your total move? Well, no, because no, now you're gonna go. So you got four, right? So if you right. go, f so if you, so, stop. Just let them go for a sec. Now measure out your new distance, assuming you want everybody to stay in line. However far you got to cross that river, because that river's only but yeah, it's, let's call it two inches across. So crossing the river is going to cost you four. So you'd still have three left on the other side. You got a twelve-inch move. But I want to shoot. Ah, very good. 
and seeing how we're not using black powder, I don't have to worry about standing in a stream and shooting. Yeah, you don't. Or a Sam Mustafa game, or nothing. We have arrived. I know. <laughs> you can learn. Chucking javelins up the hill. So, who, uh, everybody done? Moving? Moving's done? Yep. All right, uh, let's do, well, give Robert a chance. Who you want to shoot at? What do you got? Is all these scouts got him? Yeah. Yep. I've got four shots. One, two, three, four. Who do you want to shoot at? For just kind of down the line? What do you want to do? Let's make sure I'm in range. Yeah. My range. 16. Yeah, you're yep. well within range. Mm -hmm. So we'll go down the line. All right, first one on the left is a two or less. It's all two or less. Nope. Nope. Next. Nope. 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 Nothing there. Let's go. All right, Valkyrie, want to give him a little back? Yep. Same thing down the line. All right, start over here, I guess, for, from your perspective. Two or less. Yeah. There's one. No. Uh, all right, Ouch. those guys. Those guys got to roll a two or less to avoid getting hit. Two or less to get. Yeah, armor's no. not that there. Armor's. Not there. They're gonna be dead later. All right, next guy. <laughs> These guys here. Man in the middle. No. Okay. No. No. Right. Let's go. All right, no melees, no melees. Okay, that takes us to turn three. I don't think anybody's got anything else to do. Because that's they, they, initiative, missile, cover, there's no cover. Melees, none. Shield walls, none. End of turn. Yeah, no leaders are dead, no 50%. Yeah, no, mm-mm. Okay. Um, all right, now both both y'all are on minus two both ways. Shouldn't you take my dead guy off? Mm. Is that right? Yeah, is that that's the end of turn phase? Yep, you're right. Yoink. All right, would you roll, Valker? Two. Two. Was that with your minus two? No. So that's a zero. No, so it's a zero. Yeah. All right, here we go. What you got in the uh, what you got in this? What you got in this? The uh, Viking side. You can roll a one. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> uh, what do you want yeah, to do, Saxons? For... They go first. Oh, I'm sorry, I already did. Yes, there is pass through. All right, uh, I'd like to go first then. All right. I want to get my archers out of there. All right. And his archers overshoot his yep. front line infantry. They, they can do what's called plunging fire. As long yep. as they're not within 12 inches, they probably are. Oh, no, they're right outside of it. But they're going to close that distance, so they won't be able to do right. it. Well, there we are. Anything from you, OJ? Uh, no. Vikings. The Vikings turn to their right and left and discover that Ole Snortenson and his his band are suddenly gone. 
the Valhalla. <clears throat> Boyer? Oh my goodness. Brian Oops. Boyer, what a pleasure to see you. Hey, Doug. We did say Vikings. Perhaps that's why you heard us. So a shield wall do? Shield wall would have these boys here. Not those boys, because you got to have two, not three. These boys could form it. Three. You got to have three, not two. And so you got to have these three guys together. They can form a shield wall. They have to go straight forward, straight back, can't turn, but they get a plus one to their morale and they get a plus two to their armor. Now their armor is a, it's a two. So yeah, that would bump them to a four. Yeah, I might do that. Wait. Oh, that's why I can't do it with these guys, because then they'd be a six, and they would be unkillable. Well, they can actually go to a five. You can never go to a six. A six is always oh, a fail. Okay. That makes sense. That's right. Or is that just for morale? That's for their armor, too. It says their armor maxes at five. All right. So you can, yeah, you can declare these guys in shield wall. Yes, I'd like to do that. All right. They're in shield wall. Is there flanking? I don't think so. Cause it's no, there's no... Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. Because remember, they turn to face. If a guy comes around to your side mm -hmm. and he hits you in the flank, you get to turn to face. But if he hits you again, you're stuck. And you're going to take a minus one in melee. Oh. You're not going to like that. Okay. Um, <laughs> as I, I have the Vikings finished their movings? Yes. yes. All right, excellent. I should realize this is turn three. How many turns are there? Twelve. Oh yeah, no, it's, oh boy. yeah, yeah. There's there's fighting to have happen here. Um, okay, missile fire. I think we started with the Vikings last time. Do you have any this time, Saxons? I don't think you do because I think he's too close. Yeah, he is too close for plunging fire, as I recall the rule. Yeah, that seems pretty close. Uh, bow armed units may use plunging fire to shoot over the heads of their troops as long as the intervening friendly infantry are not within 12 inches of the target. That's crazy. That that's really. It's it means you got to shoot them at a distance. That's niche though. Yeah. And it's, it's intervening friendly, so it would have to be these guys. Yeah, exactly. They have to. They would not have to be. So. They're really so far away. Yeah. On the other hand, they could. They're going to eventually be able to plunging fire over here. Actually. Boy. Yeah, that's a good point. I think I can. <laughs> Still too far. Uh, I can. I thought it was 36 inches. It's 36 It's 36. Inches. It's 36. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, those guys yeah, are it's <laughs> Still way yeah, too far away. They're, I don't know about way too, but they're out of range. Yeah. What? Yeah, they're out of range. It's 36 inches. Yeah. No, it's 40. Look, what, what measures you got? You're at 45. Check your measurements. Am I in... What, is it? what should it be? It should be inches. Are you in grid or something? Wait, where is... Oh, yeah, I was in grid. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> they were probably like six. It's at 23. Oh, okay. Wow, that's easy. They're real close. They're yeah. super close. They're six inches away. Who knew? All right, javelins, you're up. Who do who you want to chuck, chuck stuff at? Be right back. Those guys can't. Yeah, they got none. Some of these scouts. But these scouts can. Yep. Who do they want to shoot at? Uh, one, two, three. All right. You know the rope. One. That's oh, there's one. That's a hearth guard. Uh, he needs to roll a four or less. We're good. He does. Ting, ting, ting. Ping, ping. Two. Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. All right. That was all the missile no melee, right? We're good. All right. Turn four. Minus two both ways. Do you want to go for it this time, okay? Beat win the game. 
Did Achilles leave? Achilles excused himself, yeah. Okay. OJ. Oh, I got it. Okay. Yeah. Anything exciting happen? Yeah, you got initiative. You got initiative. Who's first? Thunder shocked. <laughs> Well, what do you say, Robert? It's up to you, man. You're the it's big up to boy. me. You're the big boy. Okay. Um, I think we will move first this time. All right. Here they come. Fighty time, I guess. Party time. You did say they can interpenetrate, right? Yes, sir. So the question for you, Velker, is you want to just face this guy forward or do you want to turn to face this guy? It, it's, yeah, I figured. Minus, I get a plus one on what? My attack. Hmm? What do I get a plus one on? You're gonna you're gonna get a plus one for the kill, but a minus one because you're flanked. You mean the other way around? Minus one for the hill. Plus it's uh, if the attacker crosses obstacles or uphill, it's a minus one. If the armor rating is attacked from the oh, it's actually from the rear. Uh, it's yeah. not a minus one, but if engaged by more than one enemy, which is what you are. So we both get a minus one. Yep. <clears throat> What's Achilles up? Than advancing with Harold Hardrana. We're getting there. We're getting there. Give it a minute. All right. Yes, Belker. Oh, I'm in range. Nope. Uh, nope. What? Everybody moved? Um, I think Velker and I are looking at a couple things. So when we move, they can move any direction without penalty? Mm -hmm. right. Yes. Okay. The only guys that are limited are his boys here that are in shield wall. Okay. Velker, do you need some support over there? No. Focus on this giant mass of guys coming at you. Okay. That's, that's our problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's got these freaking who's Carls that are no picnic. <laughs> All right. All right. Missile, okay. missile fire. Then who? Uh, Velker's got some. That's actually a clean shot. I love these figs. Those are these yeah, are all these too. are all lazy boys. They're great. That these, guy? These Carls, they're big axes. Yeah, no. <laughs> that second guy's gonna be plunging fire, but the first guy the first guy's a clean shot, the other two are plunging fire. Alright. So uh, so who you, the old, oh sorry, go ahead. So who are you shooting at Valker? I'll just go down the line over there. Uh yeah, okay. That's a two then on the bows here. Yeah. And this is all ones. Well, no. the first one wasn't. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Get those out of the way. Yeah. Okay, yeah, get those bad rolls out. Uh, Javelin's got nobody to shoot at. Oh, they go here. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. 
What you want to do there, Robert? Down the line. Left to right, right to left. We'll go start here, I guess. All twos. Nope. Yep. Oh, that boy is a shield wall, so he's got a four. Oh! <laughs> Ouch. What? What? Wall? Ouch. And the next one. <clears throat> that missed. Somebody got their shield at a discount store. Sure. <laughs> they got the inferior shield. All right, that was awesome all the wood. missile fire. I think we got melees. I know we do. Um, all right, which ones you want to work out first? It really doesn't matter. I like this one. All right, we'll do this one first. Uh, this one is Velker. You need to roll a five. Or no, he's coming uphill, so it doesn't matter. So it's a four or less. He needs a... Two or less. God, what was that wow. roll? It didn't Missed. move. Nothing. Push, push, push. All right, now this one, Velker, you're at a minus. You need a three, and he's at a minus, and he needs a two. Three to two. If I get two dice, uh, right? No, just one die. I got two guys attacking. Do, you, do they each attack, though? Because I think it's just broken down into a single combat, which is why you get the minus one. Do you get two? Well, it's going to be a hit, and you got a one. So we got to pay attention, because maybe you do something horrific to him. But let's take a peek. That's true. Okay. Yeah, Robert, don't roll a six. All uh, Miller's are simultaneous. No, we're not doing that. There we go. It would get everyone. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very good. So yeah, they're both twos. So. Okay. Head. All right, and you need a four. Got it. Got it. Now you got to defend that. You got to defend this one. Nope. And, and you do. No. And you and. I, I do. He does. Yeah, he's got an armor of three. Does the armor? Does the uphill effect armor? No. Mm -mm. Okay. So it did succeed. So nobody is hurt. <laughs> There's a lot of shoving and pushing, but nobody being hurt it did. Okay. It's like one of those fights in a bar, you know, where the sure. two guys are just First pushing fight. each other. <laughs> yeah. Except, of course, this guy. We going. Which also breaks the shield wall, unfortunately. Yep. Uh oh. Yeah. Can't even get a shield wall anymore. Nope. You don't have you, you don't have three of the same. I don't think they have to be the same. What? To go into shield wall. I would have done it with the other guys. Three or more fight. Yeah, as long as you're armed with shields, you can do it. <sighs> yep. Which guy would you have done it with? These guys? Or you would have thrown them in with them? Yeah. Makes sense. Alright. This is turn five. Minus two both ways. Oof. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I think we'll go first again. Vikings going first again. <laughs> um, to form the shield wall, do you do it like instead of moving or? Well, yeah, you have to. You have to be in range, and you have to do it at the start of your turn. Okay. You just. But say they you can. Are. They can move. Yeah, but then they get half. half it's half move. Okay. So let's form this group. All right. <clears throat> okay. And they may not cross an obstacle. You mean like the river? Correct. Yeah. But the hills, okay, they can still go down. Yep. Mm -hmm. you, you might as well wait. That depends on what I'm doing, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sure does. Those guys can't move because they're in melee. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, thank you. Yeah, we went up to 1080p a while ago. Distinct improvement once I figured out how the heck to do it. Live and learn. Okay. All good over there? I'm, All right. I'm done. How about you, Robert? I'm thinking. Mm hmm. I want to name him Sausage. That's <laughs> his movement. 12 inches. Oops. What the heck? There's no way that's legal. Sure it is. <laughs> he actually back it up though. You can't move that way because you're basically moving through him. You're gonna have to do it in segments. Yep, there you go. Get yourself there you go. And you still got twelve inches to do it. Because you're not clear yet. Am I clear? Mm, that's good. You're good. You don't have that much movement. I've got twelve. Um, now nah, you you move past that. And you were you were you were way. you were ten and change. Facing doesn't matter. Is you, you can face whatever direction you want, and when wow. you're done, just you gotta just live with it. Mm -hmm. I was. Yeah, let's see, ten point four two is ten seven seven. So I got point three three left. You got no, you didn't. Up there. No, you didn't. You moved out Where's to here end? with like ten point two. You've got two, you. You had one point eight left from there. I got points. I got point three three left. You got point eight. For, you got point eight from here. I'm telling you, you're one point eight. That's all you got. I, I'm looking at the thing. I move 10.42, right. and I move 0.35. If you move 10.42, you're automatically down to 1.5. Well, I need a tenth of an inch. There's no contact there. All right, give me a chance. No, there wouldn't be contact because he's got to be flush here and here. That's my point. Yeah. And besides, you're going to get to move now anyway. He can't move. He's in melee. I can move these this guys. guy can move. Yeah. That's my, <laughs> my boss. Wait, he can fight. Actually, look, he, look at this. he could move. Oh. He could try to run away from the melee too. If yeah, he if he to. wants to give him a free attack, which I sincerely doubt. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't know this guy. Could I'm fight. just pointing out that it's possible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody moved? Yes. All right. Mm. And that takes us over to our friends, the Saxons. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey. What are you doing? 
these guys gonna form shield wall with these guys? Can't. You gotta be. You gotta be adjacent at the start of the turn. You can move him over there and put him in a position where he could, but it's good. Yeah. You want to turn him to face? No. So you're not meleeing him? I am. Okay, I can, well then you... I can melee from the back of my base. No, you should face him. But I don't want to get... Staggered. Well, then, then, then you can't do it. That's the point. <laughs> what? If you want to melee him, you've got to give him the flank. You can only melee off the front of your base. So the question he has to ask is, does he want to turn to face or not? <clears throat> I thought it was off the back of your base in this. In it this is. Game. Well, no, that's the front yeah, arc. These guys should also have to. That's the front arc. Well, those guys have to make the same. If these guys are meleeing here, yeah, they got to go like this. That's right. Really that's right. It's a scrum. Hmm? <laughs> Oh, those guys are going to get oh. opened up fire lanes anyway. Yeah, and... I didn't realize those dudes had shields. I think they do. Yeah. Well, I couldn't have moved them there if, even if they I formed a shield wall. OJ, you good over there? Um, I think I just need to move these two guys over here to the side so they can form steel wall next turn. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep. Okay. Let's get one heck of a shield wall. <laughs> no doubt about it. You said 10 inches for a main radius? Yep. Yes, sir. Probably need to lock. Something like that next turn. Okay. All right, missile fire. Who goes first this turn? Um, the... Doesn't really matter, but no. I think it was us. All right. Let's have some javelins throw some stuff. Who you want to throw them at? We're going to crossfire at the, uh, the bows. The All right. Yeah. Is there no bad thing for shooting up a hill? No. Twos. <laughs> we'll go from this guy. As you wish. To this guy. To this guy. Mm -hmm. And a free guy shoots this guy. Miss. Next shot. Miss. Third shot. Hit. Hit. That bow needs a uh, needs to save on a two. Oof. Negative. Alright. Any other bows from the uh so yes. Vikings. Like All right. Who they get to shoot at? They're going to shoot at this guy. Yeah, that's fair. So I'm just checking. That's in range yet? No. It is. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. All right. All ones. Okay. I get three tries to make a one. Yeah. <laughs> Under normal circumstances, I would make it three times. <laughs> However,. But not tonight, because I actually need to roll ones. <laughs> you don't have to clear it after every time. It's luck. He's doing it for luck. It's mojo. It? Yeah, yes. it's a, it's a, it's a, has obsesses about that too. Mm -hmm. Um, it's my turn? Yeah. now it's it is your just turn. Just habit. Go, bah, bah, bah. Straight. You're gonna crisscross like that? Yeah. Because otherwise, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how much of a no. I even call that. Just because. Oh, I see what you mean. That's good. All right, we'll go there. We'll, we'll just do it in this order. It won't matter. All right. Yeah, that's true. It's all twos. Nope. No. Yes. Oh. Oop. Needs a two. Nope. Oh. Plink. Um, Exchange one one of kind of skirmisher guy. death. Yeah, skirmisher <laughs> death. All right, now... <laughs> A horrific melee. Oh my goodness. Um, you want to start with this one? Because this one's pretty simple. Well, yeah, I guess. 
Yeah, so this guy now is down two. So he, he needs a one. And a four. And Belker, you need a four. Gosh. Wow. Nope. Okay. Still pushing at each other. Now this, yeah, this, other one. Now this one here is like that. Yeah. Three Saxons, three. Saxons. Uh, uphill, he, so it's four minus one, three. He's, he's, he's got two. He's got more X against that guy. Oh, yeah, that's right. Each guy gets an attack. You get another attack, Valker, from here. Yeah, except uh, this is only a two. Yeah. yeah. That's right. That's, that's going to take some getting used to. I won't lie. All right, this guy is from a four. If we look at it from this perspective, this is a four drops to a three versus a two, three to two. There's a hit. Let's go. Next time, miss. All right, now the armor here. Well, I still got another attack against him. Well, yeah, but we got to figure out the armor on this one first. Nope. Fail. That's good. <laughs> now here, this is a four three. Versus uh, two, three. You don't get an attack. He does two. Nope. Nope. And up here, that's on level ground. Uh, four to four, probably four to four, four to four. four. four, to four. Yeah, he. That's one of his leaders. Oh, it's leader versus leader. Yeah, yeah. This is this is them scrumming. Got him. Mm. Both got him. Yeah. All right, uh, we'll do. Uh, now you both got to check at fours. He took a wound. I did not. Okay. He will not be taken off because he is tough. How many wounds do I? Have? You have, Correct. You have three, I think. Two. So you can take two wounds. That's one of your two. Oh boy. Whoo! That's a lot. That's a. That's quite a fight going on there. Okay. Take the guys off. Yeah. Now the guys come off. This guy comes off. This guy comes off. So, and don't go anywhere. That's right. Oh, that's fun. I didn't realize it had a skull on the back. Yay. All right. So, currently, where's my other dead? Where's that other dead? There. Thank you. So that's two dead, two dead Saxons, three dead Vikings. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Correct. All right. And I think we had breakpoints based on. I have to take one more casually. Yeah. Well, no, I'm also saying the overalls. Yeah, the Vikings break at 16. The Saxons break at 12 overall, and then within the smaller groups. Um. Tostig, where's our guy Tostig? <laughs> Tostig's got a total of eight. So yeah, when he loses, yeah, if he loses one more, he's got to check. All right, that was it. And I think this is a lost token. I'll put this right here where I can see it. These are kind of nice. I like these tokens. They're all right. They're very uh, decorative. Yeah, you certainly see them. <laughs> All right, so you know who's wounded. Um, yeah, that'll take us halfway. Turn. This is the halfway turn. Turn six. Let's go. Minus two. Let's go. Oh, nice. All right. Oh, Belker. Right, so you want to go first? Uh, okay. Here. Do you have a preference? Somebody wake up, OJ. Yep, I'm here. What was the question? <laughs> Which do you think we should wait or should we go now? Oh. Uh, I would say let's go ahead and let them go first. All right. 
Your turn. Alright. Very good. Oh, Achilles. I didn't think Tostic was doing all that much. <laughs> we're kind of happy where we are. <laughs> we be scrapping. Yeah, I, I oops, because the uh, the javelin guys, I didn't realize, were could have formed shield wall. Or shield wallable. Yeah. Nobody just lost any big boys, right? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm done. Tostig, you're good? Yep. All right. Saxons, what you going to do? Better try and get up there with these guys, scouts. Wham. Oh, you're going to fall back. Little fallback action. Just 5.8. So it is not above hand. Yep. I can mm -hmm. still shoot. Alright. Alright, I think I'm good then. And then my guys are going to form shield wall. They are in shield wall. And remember when they're in shield wall, straight forward only. Okay. Well, okay, hang on then. I don't think I have to face to fight this. There you go. That was... Now, just, yeah, well, well, you can shoot these guys. Oh, yeah. He just, he won't be able to shoot these guys. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, do I have to turn to face this guy? Uh, you don't have to. It's probably what you... That's still a fight going on, so you're going to want to. Yeah. Because he's lost his his flank bonus. And then I will... Um, um, okay, I'll take my free attack. That's not in contact. Um, that guy was never in contact. That guy didn't get an attack on you. Okay. <clears throat> so OJ you're good yeah yeah I just shifted these guys down they can't form shield wall yet right nope, They'll have to nope. An extra... in, the, yep. in regular raven feast they can in big battle they have to have it at the beginning of the turn movement yep. phase that's what I thought you said alright missile fire uh, we'll start with the saxons this time I think you've just got plunging fire on those boys, yeah? Yeah, let's take those two. On the right? Okay. Ones, both of them. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay. Anything else from the uh, Saxons? Or do we go over to the Vikings? I think that's all the missile guys they have. That's all the missile guys we have. Uh, that's, what I that's what I thought, but you never... Sometimes I go half blind. <laughs> all right. Um... Uh, Viking there was those shooters. Guys, please. they were hiding in these huts over here. Yeah, they were hiding in the huts. They come tearing out of the huts. Viking missiles, please. One and one. Yes, sir. So two and two. Oh yeah. Hits. Yeah. Mike, you're gonna need a uh, need to pass a two for that guy. Oh, very nice. Let's go. No, you were supposed to roll a six. <laughs> All right. Achilles, some shooting. Yeah. My archers will go after these same guy. All right. Uh, just all of them? Well, yeah. You can do yeah. it one at a time. So you just <laughs> want to keep shooting unless you don't. If you hit him, exactly. you can do something else. All right. Once. 
the the chances of me hitting them are pretty low, so yeah, <laughs> I might as well use I, all three of them. <laughs> sure, you'll hit now with all three of them. <laughs> miss. See? Nope, that's oh, a no. miss. It, that's right. No, he missed one. Count. <laughs> we got two twos in a row. Oh man. Nope. Uh, no, the other way. There. Okay. I think that's it. All right, rock and roll. A melee. Go to this one again, I guess. Mm-hmm. I've been having this one all day long. Uh, that's a f just a straight four to a one. Yeah, four to a one. When this guy wins. I'm gonna cry. I got him. Sort of. <laughs> no, and he's got to defend on a three. Now I get the one. Okay. And he does. And then the other guy. The other guy comes yeah, at him with a two. Yep. Nope. Okay. Roll these, these one. Guys, roll these one. guys just like each other a lot, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> uh, that's just a... Oh, that's right. You don't get a shot. Oh, too bad. <laughs> uh, four to two. Four to two. And yes. he defends on a three. Nope. Does not. Yeah. And now more car. Uh, no bonuses there. Uh, but it's just a four to four, right? Yeah. Yep, four to four. Yeah, more car. Oh! oh that's the God. horrible thing. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, that's right. That's not his armor roll. That is so not his that armor roll. The good thing. Oh, he, he, he what a shame. Che checks his armor. All right. Well, if he rolls another six, though. If he rolls another six, uh, but he passes it. Right. Uh, oh. So that stayed that fight. That that would have been quite the horrible thing. Yeah. That would have been well. fun just to see. No, it's <laughs> not an automatic kill. He he passed his armor check, so no hit. So this Dang, that's so annoying. This does, but <laughs> that is a check for Tostig. And he's a five. Yeah. This is, what is this? Barely dodged what is this a gruesome check? wound. What is this check though? <laughs> this is. That's yeah, going to be well, a good thing. I just want to know. What, yeah, that's going to be a. That's going to be a pass no matter what. Yeah. Apply <laughs> wounds. Vikings who are required to take a morale test roll a d6 equal to to pass. Who, yeah, they may lend if they're within that number of inches. Oh, so everybody has to test. So why? Because this their whole war band has to test. What happened? Oh dear. Um, what did I do? You. That's fifty percent. That's fifty percent. Yeah. Right. Of the yeah. whole force. Of his force. Of Tostig's force. Oh, okay. So, to, so I'm assuming you're going to say that was Tostig himself. Yeah. That checked. Uh, and Tostig here is in range. He's within 10 inches, so he can use his mighty leadership ability of five to keep these Saxon defectors in the fight, and they stay in the fight. So, where's the rest of his guys? Oh, over here. Uh, my two javelin guys. Have Are they in range? Lit. No. No. Okay, so they got to pass their own morale. Which is Two. twos. Oh, God. First one. Nope. nope. And nope. nope. Okay. They start running. Oh, that's no right. That's right. Reason. You're right. You're quite right. They, uh, they do, they get ghosty things. They take a, uh, yes. they get ghosts and they do a full move back the way they came. Ooh, coward. Cowards. <laughs> yeah, the other Vikings are displeased with them. Mm -hmm. I mean, people who the house curls. Who who's, the who's curls will probably just hit them in the head with an axe as they run by. Yeah, I, I was going to say, the who's curls are not going to have it. You're right about that. Ooh, scary. Ooh. I, I kind of love those markers. Ooh. Is this Pac-Man? No. See, that's what I said. No, look at the ghost. It's Boo Sheet. Yeah. It's like the it little like ghost from Ghost from Pac Man. Pac -Man. Yeah. Those guys, those guys have said, "Ooh, it's scary." Um, yeah. When do you inflict a Raven token? The Raven token is when you do that crazy thing. Uh, is, that is when he you roll a one and he rolls a six. Is there any other time? No, that's the Raven. Death worthy of a song. 
Yes. Apply so wounds Vikings are required to take equal to, yeah, <laughs> leaders. Are, yeah, all Vikings are leaders if their leader is killed. No, all Vikings test at 50% warband losses. And then if there's a raven token, it's within 12 inches of it. Anybody that sees that horrific death <laughs> has to check. All right, so Tostig is th Tostig is th Tostig's boys is his his missile boys at least are definitely thinking twice about this fight. We'll see what his melee boys think though, because he's up there in the scrum. This is now turn seven. Turn seven. Initiative. Three. One. What do you think, Achilles? Who goes first? Uh, I think we do. Okay. First thing we do have to do, however, is check and see if these guys are in any way interested in returning to the fight. Now, the question is, have they gotten close enough to King Harold? Because I think he can do it. Nope, he's not. Did not <laughs> didn't get quite close. run far enough. Didn't quite run <laughs> far enough. So... Uh, these Viking scouts, will they come back? Yes. They will. How about these Viking scouts? Yes. They will. Look at that. They got back and, well, I think you're right. I think probably a couple of those Who's Carls bonked them in the head and they changed their minds. <laughs> yeah. Just one look at those guys and they're like, uh, yeah, you know, Is I'm my more afraid of them. Is my dad <laughs> one guy running by? It's like, you guys want to get up there in the scrum? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, no, bro. No. Uh, so, I'm sorry. You said you were going to go first, Achilles? Uh, yes. Rock and roll. What turn is it now? Seven. Seven. Okay, so the stream cuts me to half, right? No, uh, the stream costs you two for one. So, you kind of got to... Me I would measure each base and figure out how far you can get. That's interesting. Right this is going to be hard math. I don't want to do hard math. Yeah, we'll get to the get to the stream. Okay. Stop. You got point okay. eight, right? right? Now measure how yeah. far it costs you to get across. Do a new measure, or you can do that, I suppose. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I uh, mean, it's it just easier if you do it separate. It's to, okay. it, it, it's basically a the, the stream itself is a two inch deal. It costs you two inches off your move rather than okay, one. So I was at point eight. Yep. And, and now. Time to get over there. That's yeah. yeah it costs okay. More than just one extra inch. Yeah, you went the long way. Oh. As a you know, uh, you I'll just took it. this long cut of it as opposed to taking the even two inches. I mean, it's four. So it's four, eight. You got five. How much you got total? That's seven Twelve. inches. You got seven inches. Well, you're still in the river. You got to keep going. Okay. So how far can I go? Uh, Seven inches. You're, you're right now at you. You've right now cost yourself. You're at six point eight. Right six point eight. Yep. Okay, so I have five point two left. Yep. Yep. Okay. And that's another four. That's it. You're done. Okay. You have to back it up even a little. That yeah, that's good. That's fine. All right. All right. That math was way too hard. <laughs> yeah, it's just one for. It's just you got to when you're crossing the thing, you just got to go two for one. And that's gonna be the guy who okay. goes the longest. You don't. So I, I hit. Yeah, and by the way, that as Velker just said, that's the guy that's gonna be in the stream the longest. So just line everybody else up. Oh, yeah, you're probably right about that. That would certainly make my life easier. Thank you, Velker. <laughs> Me trying to figure out two for ones and. Is it why he's a an road movement as a freshman? <laughs> Three for twos and seven for eights. Yeah. Next, next, you'll be having me figure out proofs and all kinds of things. I'm doing proofs. War is definitely spooky. War is definitely spooky. You got twelve people watching. Hi, everybody. Is this a war game? Oh, what a great point, Robert. This is a war game. <laughs> We're playing it with dolls. Look, look at the dolls. Aren't they nice dolls, Achilles? They are. They're we love cool. our no. action figures. No. Big, scary action figures. I look at but figures like this, and I'm thinking of the cartoon Hobbit movie. Sure, sure. And, and it's that's played, not a bad thing. Just... And CT would want us to note it's being played on a map. A what? A map. I know. <laughs> it's it's confusing. It is, but it won't qualify for 
War Game of the Year. Yeah. For maps. Yeah. For maps. We'll, 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 we'll go in the map category. We'll beat out U-Boat. <laughs> Math is hard. Let's go Womp Saxons. There you go. Oh, Tommy McGuire. Oh. Action figures. Act, yes, we, <laughs> I corrected. So, Jim, will this map beat out U-Boat? No, because everybody adores <laughs> that not. map. You know what I didn't realize? I never realized this. They actually claim that the boat is a map. Okay. I I, I was <laughs> blown they? away by that. Who is they? Harold, is among it? others. Harold uh, Buchanan. Harold Buchanan. A good guy. Oh. A guy I like a lot. And a great game designer. But he actually argues that that's a map. I thought they were talking about the junky little piece of paper that they give you in a pad on it to sort of track your movement. No, he argues that that boat is a map. The next time I see Harold, I'm going to take his head off and hit him with it. I, I'm like, what are you even <laughs> talking about? I'm like, that's a worst case. Well, Jim, this will make you happy. There was an update today that the that the update for the uh, for U boat is coming along nicely with an all new map. Ooh. No, <laughs> uh, Turk uh, Lazy Boy allow... Lazy Boy actually did a bunch of saga sets using these minis. There's there's others. These are just the ones he just built a whole set just for Hastings. So I said, well, shoot. You know, I think the funny thing is that U-Boat should be putting Charles S. Roberts' award-winning map on oh, yes. their box. Yes. <laughs> My God. That is so dumb. When I, I was like, so uh, are we done with our dear friends, the Vikings, moving? <laughs> we are. All here, right. We'll, let's go over to the shelf here. I'll write that on mine. <laughs> <laughs> Saxons, rock and roll. Right, I'm going to form a field wall here. Can you? Yes, I can. can you if you're, if you're not in contact? Nope, you may not do it if you are currently engaged in melee. What? Now, the thing you can do <laughs> is swing. You can swing both or either of these guys onto oh, his yes. onto his <laughs> flanks. Or you could just hang out there. Uh, no, I'm, gonna, I'm just I'm debating between these two. Sure. Let's see. What is, what is he? Where is he? Yeah, Has that one annoyed you enough? <laughs> well, that's well. That's also a lot. You know, that's also defending Earl Morcar. I mean, that's <laughs> that's your that's your head dude too. I'm gonna be a little careful with him only having one toughness. Maybe I. Perhaps. Well, no, I can't leave because then he gets. A free yeah, he then he will get a free poke at you. Yeah, no, I'm sticking, sticking like glue <laughs> bounces off me. And Do it. Sticks Do it. Blue. All Do right, it. um, we are good to go. Uh, missile fire. will ask the uh, ask the sac the Vikings, the Vikings, please. Are your javelin boys in range anymore? Yeah, they should be. Checking. How yep. did they move? They moved. They, they didn't move that far. Yeah. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't move. They they turned around. Did they move more than six though? <laughs> nope. Okay. Twos. I will fire both on this guy. Two. Either way. Oh, wait a minute. Miss. Doesn't he have? to be he can't be he no, can't shoot at somebody he's, that's within 12, no right? no he's not blocked if he were that's for a plunging fire oh i One, see okay. and javelins can't do that so that is a hit mike you need a, you need a two here oh, oh the God. man oh, is man. wrecking it Woo! the armor rolls are wrecking it coming from the sax from the saxons on the hill the great feared <laughs> they are feared across the land. Yeah, oh, very nice. Um, <laughs> that dude's been punctured twice by by javelins and both times. It's he's, his, his shield. He, he didn't buy a dollar. That's right. They're like stuck the in his guy. shield. Yeah, he got a good shield, I guess. Uh, he's he looks swinging like the, that shield around. He's got two big javelins sticking out of it. <laughs> the omen of the bowman over here. 
Yeah. Um, who, who they've got I a fire at? They've got a they... clean shot straight that way. Okay. So I mean, they can yeah. Hit. I wanted to check on that because I didn't know who was outside the range here. Well, I guess these guys are actually. Yeah, but again, again, this guy, that ain't plunging fire. That's just shooting. Yep. So that's All two. Right. Two right there. We will do that. Yeah. Hey. OJ, can you come up with another two? Nope. Nope. Got this not one. this time, baby. <laughs> Dropped a die on you. <laughs> Boink. Ah! Stop it! <laughs> Dropped a horse on me. <laughs> Dropping horses and things. Jeepers, creepers. Here. Hey, look, we're spanning Calvary. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. All right, I think the others, though, are going to have to be... Yeah, that's going to have to be plunge and fire. Where do you want it? Um, I don't think I can do it on this end because of where it. these guys are. Oh, yeah, that's going to be too close. So it's going to have to be on well, this Well, again, end. though, it's the guys you're firing over that matter. Oh, is it? Yeah. I thought it was within 12 inches of any of your guys. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's blind fire. So over there, then? Yeah, we'll just do it on that end. No, pick this, pick this guy. It doesn't matter. No, it breaks. <laughs> he wants you to break up the shield wall. Uh-oh. Yay! <laughs> uh, two or less. Oh, three or less. That's veteran. Got it. Got it. One Lots more. of ones for you, buddy. One more Achilles. All right. No. All right. Velker, I think you still have... Did you have plunging fire? I think you do. I do. Where's it going to be? Oof. I guess I got to shoot the blue star. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to shoot that one. Mm-hmm. That's a one. Oh. And another, same guy? Yeah, no. no, okay. Me, I saw the two, I'm so Oh, yeah, what's that? I'm sorry? No. All right. Sorry. Another me, like this guy here. This guy's not having a bad day. Let's not fool ourselves. That's a four to a one. There's no That's way. That's amazing. That guy has done that <laughs> three times. I miss. God. And now this guy two. gets to come back with his two. Got he's it. He's the one. Oh, and he's got to defend with. Well, you don't know yet. Still, he's got to defend with a three. Nope. Does not. Okay. You are a disappointment. Fire these red cards. I'm just, don't say that. You may need those boys. And now Tostig. Uh, Tostig with a three. More car with a four. Yeah. Four to three. Nope. Bro! Okay. What is it? So it's missed both ways. Right, we'll go with the uh, this guy, that guy's actually coming uphill. It's a three? Yeah, so it'll be a three. <laughs> nope. And that guy's even Steven, so the that's going to be a two. I swear. <laughs> Oh. And no. Tostig needs a four. And gets it. God, that's so unlucky. Yeah, that's 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 a you you've had a horrible run of luck. That I'll give you. That. <laughs> oh, two five six five six. Two. Yeah, well, the the this has been ridiculous. This Hearthguard unable to kill a bunch of freaking S Saxon defectors. They got blunt swords. Dude. Yeah, I, yeah. Somebody somebody gave them the blunt swords. No doubt about it. Um, I'll pick the traitor. He fights like ten men I, to I, the other side. I guess. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Tostig is Tostig is bringing the noise. The uh, let's see here. <clears throat> yeah, that's it. Okay, but that does take off another. Okay, so that takes off this guy and this guy. That it? Mm-hmm. No other deads. Keeping our pile going. The field. Five to three so far. All right, this is turn eight. Initiative. Seven. 
Zero. Not Three. Zero. Achilles, what do you want? Well, Robert, uh, I would ask you, but you don't actually have anybody left to fight with. So, uh... Yes, I do. <laughs> he's, got to he's got Tostic. He's fine. He's good over there. Don't you worry about him. <laughs> so, I think I will... Yeah, I think I'll go first. Here they come. All right. Let's see how this works. Let them go first. Why? Because I want to see what they're going to do. I may not give them the opportunity to do much. So this is not <laughs> a shield wall. And neither is that. It is not. That is correct. <laughs> okay, that's a Northumbrian, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Get them, boys. That was your plan. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how yeah. to... Uh... <laughs> how best to do that. So you're going to okay. hit him, and when he does, okay. he's going to turn to face you. Okay. Yeah, I <clears> that. <throat> The guy. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, these guys are still coming out of the water. Mm -hmm. so, so that's point four. Four. That's one. It's one. Two. Actually, just tell me when he's out of the water, and we'll figure four. it out. There. So uh, about there. Yeah, five point six. Okay. Wait, six. They say six point four. Mm -hmm. These people they'll come out of the water a little faster. Yeah, except the guy on the left won't. I wouldn't worry about him. I wouldn't worry about this guy. I'd move the guy on the left first. Okay. Because he's got the, going to Velker's point, he's got the longest march. Keep going. There. 6.6. Okay. 6.6. .6. Yeah. Okay. Five so that leaves him 5.4. Yeah. Oh, I should have stopped him there. You trying to sneak an inch in on me, boy? <laughs> okay, those both should be out now, so that's 2.6. Oh, sure. I mean, I there aren't too many people who are playing World War II minis on Tabletop Simulator that aren't using uh, Lazy Boy's minis. Mm -hmm. Heaven knows we do. Yeah, this guy's going to be way out of command, just so you know. Which guys? Okay. Uh, let's see, that's 26. Oh, now I've forgotten how, far, how long it took me to get to there. <laughs> yeah, you're at 2.6, you got another 2, 4.6. You're at 4.6 right now. Okay. That's another 4 inches. That's 8.6. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're yeah. going to be out. All it does what is affect half move. Oh, 
Well, they're in melee. So yeah, I that's that's. that's, that's <laughs> I just wanted you to know, but you're right. I mean, it's it limits their ability to go anywhere, but I don't know if okay. you want them to right now. Now, when does that come into effect? At the end, start of the turn. At, at the end the of the start, move, right? Start so, of the movement phase. Yep. So these guys won't be impacted by it right now. Nope, they were in they were in range at the start of the move. <clears throat> can shield can shield walls back up? Yes, at one quarter speed. So one quarter three of six. Three. I was figuring since they were in shield wall, their movement was only six and six to start with. So. No, no, it's it's one quarter of their max. Oh, I see. Okay. There you go. All right. All right. We'll start with the Saxon art. Did the Saxons move? No, the Saxons did not. Saxon, move, please. Sure. Just to give you a quick update, Snow Apocalypse, Milwaukee, we're up to two and a half to three inches. Ooh. That's all my moves. OJ. All right, I'll take these guys out of shield walls so I can shift them then. Yep. Our temps dropped about three degrees in the last, no, oh, half an hour or so. Winds well, are just now trying to pick up. It hasn't converted to snow yet. We are currently negative one. Yep. It's chilly. Real or, or feel? Real. Okay. Real. That's why I figured I just... Uh, it's, it's, it's much lower than that with the with the wind. Yeah, we're in the sure. 30 below range. Tomorrow it's going to be even worse. Yeah, from that... Per yeah, the wind chill tomorrow is going to be repulsive. Yeah, <laughs> I, I saw earlier today there was a difference between Dickerson, South with North Dakota, and Miami was almost 140 degree difference. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, is that all the move? Yeah? Yeah. Belker, who do you want to shoot at? It's going to have to be far away now. Yeah, I guess I'll take hats at the Bowman. Is anybody close? Yeah, that's really all you got. So I'll go for the right in the middle. Does he have the range? Yeah. It's like 36. Yeah, I've, I've yeah. got it. Range. So, guy in the middle? Guy in the middle and guy on... All right, in the middle as well, it's ones, both ways. No. No. Okay. Any other shooting? I don't think I've ever hit one punch for him. I don't think so. I think that's it. Nope. All right. Melee, and there's a lot of it. Should we get the one between Tostig and... Yeah, well, you want to save that for last, or you want to do that one now? Let's get that out of the way. All right, we're going to do that out of the way. All right. Well, the main fight, as we can tell, is between our friend Earl Morcar, who is still a four, versus Tostic, who has dropped to a three. Four to three. Miss. Got That's it. not... Oh. And now... He's fine. He's fine. I get two... Uh, Side hits. Guy number two. Two. Got him. Got him. There's no way. Tostic will check on a four. I swear. And laugh at you. And laugh. <laughs> and the hearth guard now will come on a three. No. That fight may roughly take a year. Uh, all right. So Achilles, you're up, sir. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll start over here. All right, so how does this work? I got to hit both of these, don't I? Well, no, you got to you've got to face the you got to hit the guy to your front. Yeah. Right? And so it's going to go this way and this way. So I got to hit go... both of these guys, right? Mm -mm. <laughs> no, it's this guy hits this guy, this guy hits this guy. Right. 
So, so I got to hit both of these guys, right? Right. <laughs> oh, I thought say. you meant with the Thank same you. guy. I just thought you meant with the same guy. That's all. <laughs> so which one do you want? Start from the start from the uh, right? We'll start or... from the right. All right. Yeah. So you're a two and he is a four. Two to four. Yeah, he's more than halfway off that. Yes. So it's a hit. Achilles. You have to check for a three. Got it. And I think it's going to be the same deal. Uh, oh no, that's no, a low, that's a feared. That's two, two to two. a two, two to two. Oh. Oh boy. Uh. <laughs> Careful on that six, Velker. Uh, the Velker checks on a two. Achilles checks. Uh, oh. Oh no. And Achilles <laughs> checks on a three. He fails too. All right, so Achilles is dead, but, I but, you did a brutal murder to Velker. I was a, hoping we'd get at least one of those. Tonight. A death worthy of a song. This yes. is got. You need to put that in the back because the, I, we got to check everybody who is within twelve inches of this is going to have to make a morale check because it was. It's no, no. It's it's to the edge. It's edge to edge, so but that happens later anyway. Everyone but that guy. And remember, we got heroes here that can use their morales to check. But that's, that could, that, that, you did a horrible, horrible thing, Achilles. It was horrible, I say. I love it. <laughs> um, let's come up here. What'd you do, run somebody over with your tank? I guess. <laughs> there was Not a, there again. Was a death worthy of a song. <laughs> Starting over here, that's, that's, mm. that's even ground. I swear, I didn't know that guy was sleeping there in that, that sleeping That one's even ground. Uh, that's a th two. How did my guys get pushed off the ridge? That's a two. That's a two to a three. So Vikings have a three. Feared has a two. Yeah. Got it. Oh, nice Achilles. roll. No. Oh, failure. And now check the mer the armor on that raider. Dang. Pass. Yeah, he's all right. This one's gonna be uphill. Oh, these yeah, my guys? So, yeah, these are guys. these are Mike's guys. These are mine. Yeah, he's this is still more car over here. Is it really? Yeah, oh. take a look. Oh, oh okay, because I was moving. No idea who was there. That's, yeah, no. yeah, no idea. That's why they moved off. Mike moved, in. Mike moved yeah. in by accident. Oh well, okay. well we won't punish it too much. That's still going to be a two, and these guys are also no, sorry, they're a what? What's the feared a two? Yeah, and those raiders are going to also be a two. Two to two. Oh, no. Failure. All right. That's it. All right, so that's nothing. <laughs> this guy is gone. Wait, no, that can't be right. I must have given some of more car. Because otherwise he just has five guys. Well, because the archers are really mine. That's it. He was, he, those, those archers are his. Oh. Yeah. It's no biggie. Just leave it the way it is now. It's not that yeah. big of a deal. Right, so, so we're going to take, we took those guys off. But now, but now, oh dear. I just want to verify. <laughs> a death worthy of a song. That is what happened. And now we check down here. All Vikings within 12 inches inflicted this turn. Here we go. Now. I'm curious though. It says Vikings. That's, that's, that's their, that's their generic <laughs> term. Oh, okay. That's all the. That's all we're in. Uh, in strict Raven Feast, you're all Vikings. I see. So it's this unit, and so we begin with the guy standing right next to him. Everybody's going to get a five pretty well. Now he dies, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's dead. But we got to oh, okay. keep him there for measurement purposes. Got it. So we start with this uh, Velker, this Hearth Guard, with a five. Oh, don't play that game. Um, is it everybody engaged, or is it just anybody that can see it? What's the rule? Anybody yeah. that, anybody within twelve inches. So it's everybody except the last two stands at empty. If a Viking mark the room, last two feared. This, period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So more car checks on a five. Velker.
You're checking. She's fine. Hearthguard. No. Oh, they are scared. They're scared, Volker. They're so. They're, they're. I don't think they're scared. They're just annoyed that they can't get this guy, and they're just <laughs> deciding to leave. Yeah. Well, that that's okay because they're gonna run away, and I'm gonna be in on them as they run away. <sighs> so this. Uh, <laughs> so you don't get. Do you don't get to do anything of the kind. Yes, I do. No, you don't. You don't. <laughs> Anybody a, all leave. servers can't move that fast. You're not in melee with them. Isn't he? No, he's facing this yes, way. He's facing this oh, way. I see. I see. Oh, dude, I'm here. No. He was they, here. No. They were in melee with him, but he wasn't yeah, in melee Yeah, you them. didn't get to attack him back. Yeah. Oh! He's surrounded. In the melee. No. <laughs> well, let's, let's have a read. For your, for your, yeah, that's that's withdrawing. F death worthy of a song. Where where is that? Okay. All right. Wounded Vikings. End of turn. Morale test. We'll read it. Flee. All enemies in base contact with the fleeing Viking receive an immediate free nope. attack. Not outside facing. I'll ask Greg, but we're not going to allow that. That's stupid. Right there, he's in base contact with me. Yeah, but that's he doesn't get it. So he doesn't get a melee attack on him. It's, I'm reading it right out of the rules here. I understand, but he does. But base contact with a fleeing Viking, receive an immediate free attack. Nope. Moving on. This guy. So how many does um, Mokar have before he has to check? Well, none of these guys are dead yet. But the answer to yeah, your I question understand. is... This guy's dead. And... Yeah, the an Mokar will be checking to answer your specific question. At five. If he's at five, he's checking. Yeah, I don't know how many he's lost already. So. Well, they'd be over here. One, two, let's add one, two. Need just two. And then one more that'll come off, so that's three. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Need two more of them. The feared. That's you, Valker. You're still checking. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got a <laughs> lot of checks to make, dude. Oh, man. Oops. And I should smack him, too. No. Hey. <laughs> well, they're running away. Oh, well, it's a straight-up fight now. And with a disadvantage to our friend over there. Mm -hmm. They checked. Was my leader check? He did already. He was. I had him check second, actually. This guy. So on this row, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. This guy. Yep. All right. This guy. Uh, yeah. Just barely. Only a six fails. Uh, and now Edwin is Edwin in range. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he is. Check him. Oh yeah. What do I need? Anything but a six. Okay. How about these archers? Yep. Check them. It's everybody except the two, the last two. Is it? Okay. Yeah. First archer passed. Mm -hmm. Second one failed. There we go. Hang on a second. And just two ferns. Ooh, we got flying archers. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> This uh, veteran feared. Pass. And the last veteran feared. Fail. Oh. Ouch. 
That's a pretty dramatic death thing you did there, Achilles. I know. I like it. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, bitter blow. <laughs> that was a bitter blow. All right, and that actually is going to take dude off the map. And then, I'm sorry, did we do these other two combats here? Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay, I thought we did. Yeah, they, they just, they're... they're yeah, that's that's right. yeah, I remember. They're now. scrumming. Uh, let me get these guys a little better sorted out. Because it is correct that we're going to need to start counting pretty quick for both sides. Just uh, three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wow. Well, this game can turn on a dime awful fast. Oh my, God. <laughs> my goodness. All right. Um, now what? Turn <laughs> nine. Initiative. When, what do these guys do? Do they have to roll to They got to roll at the start right? of the next turn. I don't know why they wait, but they do have to wait. That's weird. They have okay. to... Oh, in the rally phase. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's because they just get moved out of the way a little ways, and then they but they come right back if they successfully rally. Okay. So initiative phase, yeah. Yes, please. Ooh, Ooh I a four. lose that. One. Nice. <laughs> Easy. There you go. All right. So Velker, who do you want to go first? Okay, who do we want to go first? Oh, uh, we might as well, I think. We might as well? All right. We'll go first. All right, if you're going to go first, you got to do your rolls. Well, right. you got to do your initiatives no matter what. Uh, dude is in range. That he's in range, but he's not. What? No. It's 10 inches. Oh, it's 10. Yep. So, uh, right here, this guy can check on a five or less. Good. Not scared anymore. <laughs> yes, you can. He's oh. back. He's back in. Uh, but but now the Northumbrian feared they're going to head out on anything but a three or less. No. They're gone. First loss. <laughs> no. No, no. You've lost more cards. No. That's, that's four. That's from four. More <laughs> you're you're one away from a morale check for everybody. No biggie. No biggie. Okay. Uh, now over here, there is he within ten of Edwin. He's in. He's, He's out. out. Same deal. Yep. Mike, this is you. Uh, five or less. He's good. And yes. your Bowman, I assume, are a three or a two. They're out of range. Two. Two. Fail. Come on. I'm glad I got to keep the important one. <laughs> All right. And it's your Man. move. Right. That one mighty axe blow felt across the field. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that, that seems like that's a feature, not a bug. So he can move yes. all the way back up here into his... Uh... As long as he's got movement, but it's still it's still not a shield wall. Right, but, I mean, he's still got a... Has, he has a full movement, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and he took one full movement out, so he would... Good point, yeah. yeah. Logic would dictate. I just want to make sure it wasn't less than a full nope. movement that he could mm -mm. He gets it all back. But the shield wall is still broken at the moment. Yes. He, he's feeling a little lighter now, so he could probably move further. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's had a chance to change his underwear. <laughs> What's that? This guy. He got. He <laughs> yeah. had a chance to change no. his undies. No, what, what's that? <laughs> oh, right. Good point. <laughs> yeah, right around nude. Think about it. This is 1066. True. <laughs> is, they that had all the, uh, is that all they the Saxons? Did. <laughs> wasn't so, very comfortable underwear, but they had it. Saxons all done? Yeah, I think so. All right. These, these archers hanging where they are? Just checking. Um... Yeah, they'll just stay right where they're at. All right. Vikings. 
All right, Robert. <laughs> Save me. Wait, do you have anybody left? Where Where are your people? <laughs> yeah, he's got his leader and, and those scouts. All these guys. Mm. Yeah. Mine. Okay. So, can I can I do this? Yep. And then hit these guys on the flank. Yeah, I mean it's it's not so much a flank as it is you're striking them. They're, they're now fa- having to fight multiple sides. But yeah. Okay. Only um, rear matters um, as an additional. Hmm. Come on, Achilles. Stretch it out. Come on. Oh, oh, he did it. (laughs) (laughs) He did not. Those aren't mine. Hmm. Okay, the the twelve inch thing that only counts for plunging fire, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Long key. Okay, I'm done. All good? All right. Yeah. All right, I see one guy that might have a bow shot on the Saxon side, so we'll keep it simple. Who you want to shoot at, if anybody, Valker? Um, As I got to step away for two minutes, I'll be right back. All right, that's plunging fire for one. Big money. Uh. Nope, I think that's it. All right. Uh, so Viking ranged fire. No, well, my my bowmen do. All right, Achilles, what do you got? Yeah, we're gonna shoot at the end of his line over here. All right, those are twos. <laughs> oh, uh, Mike stepped away, did he? Yeah, he did. Bucker, you're going to have to roll for it. Three or less. All right. And those guys save a lot. Okay. Uh, next guy. Yep. Shooting at the same guy. Just okay. next guy in the line. All right. Miss. Okay. No. And miss. Trapped. All right. Trapped. <laughs> More car and yes. fun little Yeah, this is this is a little different. This is he's now at a two. And you're at a four. Four to two. There's no Amazing. way There's no way Amazing. No. And then my and. other guy was four. <laughs> yeah, four. Yes. 
and he's got to save off a four. He does not. Uh -oh. Let's go! Is he tough? Oh, I did not get... Yeah, he's tough, too. Dang. Dude, there's no he's... way Morkar has missed four times. Yes, there is. We watched it happen. There's, there's no way. Well, Morkar's bleeding. He's been bleeding this entire time. Yeah, Maybe I was going to say, he took a wound. Him. He took a wound. It was and a savage wound. How do he's you still, miss someone with a swing? He's still a swinging. Four right. times. Now he's got there's, blood there's a, and roughly a, I, I think your bigger problem vis-a-vis -vis Morkar is there's about a billion Vikings surrounding this one unit of Hearthguard. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's it's. It, he's gonna pop off. Don't worry. Is everybody. he? Is he? He's ready. He's salty. All right. Well, he's we'll dodge every single it's, one. It he's is up Ali. actually to the Vikings who they want to put into this first fight. I mean, it's. He's I the met. Old Ali. It's all going to be the same, but it's you know. You tell me. Oh, uh, let's see. Who do I get to attack? Better. Well, it's it's. We'll, it's, we'll use the one with the better armor, I think. Oh, because he's going to hit back on whichever one I choose, right? Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, let's use the one with the better armor then. Are we doing that right now that I'm looking at it? Or is it the one that he's facing? That has yeah. to be the one. one that he's facing. It's the one that he's facing. Yeah. Okay. Like... That makes more sense to me. But... Yeah, you may decide, and it's up to Velker to decide which one he is facing. Okay. In melee, a Viking must use at least one attack against an enemy directly in front of them, but any additional attacks may be used against another viable target. Viking rolls d6, and you roll their armor protects. Yes, yeah, so everybody gets one attack is the point. Okay. So we'll just go here, I guess. I just gotta go straight ahead. The only reason that one's in there is for berserkers. It's... Uh, it's... Uh, Which so it's going to be this one? this one here, I think. Okay. You know, so it's Velker's on a minus because he obviously has multiple people <laughs> surrounding him, which is a three, and you're uphill, which is a two. So it's still three to two here. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Miss Achilles, check his armor. <sighs> Man, all right. Everybody Adam else, everybody else gets to poke at him. So who wants to poke at him? Um, I'll start with the house, house the curls, plus, plus, plus curls. Plus curls on a four. <laughs> okay. Get your finger out of the way. <laughs> Robert, get your finger out of the way. It's out of the way. Yep. Velker, you need a four. No. He did. You are, no, he's not. He tough. He tough? He tough. Yeah, these are the uh, hearth guards. Oh. All right, so <laughs> scouts, you got two of them. At one. All right, so the first one is at a one. Yeah, they're both at ones. Nope. Nope. Fight continues. Came awful close. <clears throat> All right, this, this business here, we said this guy was up on the hill. This guy is not. So, um... This guy here is a straight three to a three. Three to a two. Mike, you back? Yeah, but those are Velker's troops. Oh, Velker, yep. Velker on a two. I've Raiders only got on the three. one guy here in combat. Velker miss. Achilles yep. hit. Now I got a block with a two. You got a block with a two, yep. No. My luck is abominable. Yeah, it's falling apart for you, brother man. No doubt. Uh, this feared here now. This one is up the hill, so that's a two, and that's a two. Two to two. Nope. Next one over, the Huskarls coming up at a three versus a two. Three to two. Yes. Got him. Got, Got him. him. All right, Velker, check yours first. On a two. Okay, that's another bad thing. You did another one. What? He rolled a one. You rolled a six. Indeed. Dude, no way. <laughs> However, he did hit you, so he has to check on a four. Yeah. Oh, and he failed. Oh, and he got him. 
But he's tough, so. Yeah. All right. Uh, now, we come, angry. now we come okay. over here to Edwin. This is Mike. This is a three to uh, three. Three, three. three. No. Yes. All right, Mike, check your armor. You need a three? Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, and now, after this guy gets taken out... Oh, no, he's just tough. Sorry. He's fine. Well, I won't say he's fine, but uh, he's... This Northumbrian feared comes out. Is that the Morkar test? I think it is. Yeah, it is. So Morkar's got to test eight ways to Wednesday. Um, <laughs> this feared comes out. I just want to see anybody else. He's, yeah. I think only one. I think you only have to take one rally test a turn. Oh, no matter how many? Yeah. Well, that would be better for them. Um, <laughs> where's that flea? End of game. Morale. Where'd it go? Ah, there it is. Tough. Yes. Nope. There are other circumstances that each trigger morale test when they occur in a turn, which means a Viking may need to take multiple tests. Okay. Incorrect. Yeah. I hate that's, that's That's less than desirable, but that hearth guard is stuck in. Okay. So let's do the, uh, let's do the who saw the horrible thing test. Um, which I think is, again, going to be every bloody body. Everybody. <laughs> I'm going to ask Greg about that. Um, but it's, it's well, I mean, my the point usually is, and we have the same thing in uh, Men Who Would Be Kings. What if they can't see it if it's behind them, you know? But uh, mm -hmm. I will ask him that. He may want it just to be for simplicity's sake. So we're going to roll all the way over here. I can't. They can't see it, but this guy can. Uh, Earl Morcar checks on a five. Good. And these Hearthguard check on a five. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. Five. Now <laughs> there, you're gonna get all four attacks. So you're saying I'm going to live a happy, peaceful life in my farm. Yeah, he's going to try to run away desperately and yet get attacked four separate times. Uh, this is... So he hits, he's going to try to hit him on a two. Is that me or is that him? It's you. It's you. Oh, it's me. Okay. Uh, All right. Why would I get to attack? No. No. He's going to try to hit him on a four. Got him. Got him, and that's going to kill him. Do I get to guard armor? He doesn't get no, armor. You... You're running Does away. He get armor? No, this is this is right. this is why I didn't let him do it when he wasn't facing you. Jesus. See, when you when you run away, you don't have any armor. <laughs> right. Yeah, you do. It's, yeah, it's just on your back. It's not as good. <laughs> um. All right. So I think that's going to be all but Morcar himself, who's going to have to check. Oh nope, there's another <laughs> one. Uh, this Morcar checks. That's you, Valker. He's going to leave. Beat him up. <laughs> and that's also going to be another hit here from these raiders who were the ones that we said were not on the hill. So they're going to roll a two. Two to hit him. Kill him. Get him. We're winning. Let's go. We're, we're, you're winning? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I'm glad to Look. see you feel that way. Edwin. Yep. Ethelson's head just went rolling by. <laughs> He's fine. Edwin. This feared. No. He's fine, actually, because he's taking morale from him. Oh, yeah. It's anything but a six. Yes. And over here. Fail. Oh, my God. Did you get the archer? I'm going to. Okay. Where's my scary markers? I like my I like my scares. Ooh. Run, run, you Saxon cowards! <laughs> and the archers. 
Pass. Okay, now time for check number two because this takes more car out of the fight. Did you move that other one? Oh, no, these guys are over here. Yeah, okay, got it. Thank you. Very good. Uh, there. So, the only other Morkar guys are these two, these Hearthguard. So, they now have to check Velker with this Hearthguard on a five. Fine. And Earl Morkar himself. He's fine. Now, the final question is, how many does that make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. They're two from break. Yeah. I don't know that we have any chance of actually winning, though. They've got what? Three. Yeah, you've only got two. I mean, yeah, it's, I certainly would allow a concession at this point. The um, because well, the only thing you've reserves. got the, the only <laughs> thing you've got going for you is if you manage by some good stroke to kill Tostig, he doesn't show up in a later battle. But, but we also take a chance of our okay. yeah, and you've then got a chance of getting swarmed here for Earl Morcar. So yeah, it's it's you know. So yeah, so wow. So that was a a pretty I don't remember who won this in the Little Wars game. Uh it was the Saxons. Saxons won it. Okay, cuz they, they they defended they forward did it, down at the river, right? Yeah. But did, theirs ended up historical all the way across. Okay. In what yeah. way? Um the Saxons won here. Oh, then, that way I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah, and then they beat the um yeah. Then they beat the Vikings in the next one, and then then the Normans won. Got it. This has actually got some nice subtleties to it. So what happens to their leaders? They're fine. They're bleeding, but they're running away. You didn't kill them, but they <laughs> ran away. Did you? I was checking. You didn't kill any of their toughs, did you? Yes. Oh, you did. These mm -hmm. these Hearthguard of Morkar. Yes. Anybody else? I think that was the only one. Well, if they if they run away, I get to I get to whack them, or we continue. <laughs> Robert is obsessed with whacking people as they're running away. Yeah. <laughs> Except that you're allowed to end. The, you're allowed to concede the battle. <laughs> Night suddenly <laughs> fell. You have to let them go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, so Running we will note faster than pursuing. <laughs> we, we will note the death of this Hearthguard unit for the future. That one is gone. Morkar's Hearthguard. I don't know if they get Does he show up at any point? I don't know, we'll find out. Um Yeah, so the next one when it comes up is Stamford Bridge. Yes. Yeah, the next one is Stamford Bridge. By then I'll get some clarification on the uh, the running away stuff. I also want to know how much Greg wants facing to matter. Um, because there's a couple things, particularly the what you can see. And again, it may just be simple that they want it to be 360 degrees. But there is also it is also explicit what facing is. Um, yeah. Not attack enemies to the rear. The as oh okay. I don't know. It's, it, it's funny. You would think I would know this, given as much time as I've ranked around this. But um, the uh, Herdrada wins this, does he not? Historically, mm. yeah, he does. I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah, I think he does. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's why he's still around at Stamford Bridge when Harold Godwinson arrives with the main army. Oh, <clears throat> these were the two local lords who right. tried to 
take them on. Yeah, and that's and that's actually what Jeff is pointing out. Even if you wipe them out, they don't lose anything because they these guys, the Saxons don't show up again. They're not they're not at Stanford. This is a whole different it's a whole different group of guys at, at Stanford Bridge. Yeah, it's Harold Godlinson with right. the main it's, army. It's it's these guys, the Vikings, versus a whole different mm -hmm. army. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, it only would have been bad had you lost somebody, which I don't think you did. I don't think you lost anybody. No, we didn't. So well we didn't done. Lose any tough. <laughs> well, well done, Vikings. Entirely well done. Good fight. Although I will say, Volker had a shockingly bad run of luck with three, not one, not two. But three melees on the hill, <laughs> and the only the only thing I was sort of wondering about, and I don't know what the answer is, is whether it is better to wait up here or to try to defend the river. I would think, I would think that you would defend the river, and that way you can fall back to the hill, and if you start to lose the river line, sure. But you know, but that's a tricky maneuver in a ancient battle like this so yep yeah i don't know I, so i think i think it's six and one half a dozen of another because the river gives you gives him a minus one attack or would give us a minus one attacking across correct yes the hill gives a minus one yeah yeah that's yeah, right. right it's the same yeah i don't know it also went deep. the The game went fairly deep, but uh, no, I'm going to give definite give credit to the Vikings for coming and never letting it go. So good fun. How long did it take us? A ah, little over. Well, if you figure with the rules, teach right around two hours for a game. That's not bad. So yeah, we, will, we will. We will the rules one hour. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's you know, you know, it's 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 not. It's certainly not a rule set that's going to give you a long game. Even, even with rel <coughs> relatively big armies, um, curious to see how long Stamford Bridge is and how long, uh, obviously Hastings will be. We will see. So what's yeah, coming Hastings up? Hastings was. A, what's oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to say Hastings was uh, a really long battle for the period. Yes. Usually yeah. these were over very quickly, but yeah, they talk about that. That it was you know one of those really grindy things, which was, as you correctly say, atypical. So, yep. um, yeah, this was fun. This was fun. It's very interesting. I, I certainly won't profess that I got everything right, so we'll ask um, to make sure we get it right in future. Uh, in any event, thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. What's coming up? Don't know. Can't say exactly. Uh, we obviously won't be around for the weekend because it's it's Christmas. But at some point, we're going to get to a big battle, Valor and Fortitude game for the Battle of Egg Mool. I think I counted it has 16 brigades in it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. I know you're disappointed. Um, the uh, And I don't Not know if... I don't know if... Did, did everybody uh, check out the modifications that Greg made for Little Wars TV for Valor and Fortitude? Mm -hmm. Significant reduction in movement rates. I, huh. think, I think I like it. I think I like it. His intent, his intent, it seems to me, evidently in part, is to deal with what Achilles was talking about during our game last night, which is it makes line a, a more interesting choice. Mm -hmm. Because now you can't go flying around in column. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, you can still maneuver well in column, and it's still, a, it's going to be effective if you get there, but you're going to have to take a shot or two from a unit in line, and when you do that, you're automatically giving them an extra die because you're in column. Mm -hmm. Which strikes me as correct. So, yeah, me too. Um, who knows? You know, Greg Greg is a thoughtful guy when it comes to those things, so it's always very interesting to see what he does and to try it out. So I don't know when we'll be back to that. Certainly during the week between Christmas and New Year's, we are going to play something. And also, start looking at the schedule. i got to submit the games. We are going to have games for the Armchair Dragoons Digital Convention, including our own Vance, Barth Hart, defending his title at Barkman's Corner for What a Tanker. 
anniversary? Yes, it's the third anniversary refight for Vance <laughs> to get that panther out and shoot all of us to little pieces. <laughs> um, so he's he's going to take on all comers at What a Tanker. Uh, we are also going to play the Memoir 44 Overlord game of Market Garden. One of the very, very best Overlord, Overlord scenarios, which we've played a bunch of times, actually, and I think is absolutely an absolute blast in a convention type setting. So that is coming up in just a few weeks. So look for those things. Hope to see you for them. A lot of games planned. Thanks to those who watched. Thanks to those who played. In case you don't see us again, please, Merry Christmas. And until we meet again, please take care of yourselves and one another. We will talk soon. Pause. Pause. Good night, Dean Jackson.